living on the lagoon for 11 years, I mean right on the north property line of River Palm Cottages, on a 12-foot bluff looking down into the river, I mean it was, you know, 15 feet away. And my love affair just grew and grew and grew. It's 156 miles long and it has been called the most diverse estuary in all of North America. Uh, the healthiest part of the entire lagoon is right behind us. 50% uh, of all of our flush comes from the, the Fort Pierce Inlet and the healthiest, most diverse part of the whole lagoon right now is right here. Uh, the southern end where the designation was the study that gave us the designation happened, we've had all the uh, discharges going through there and it's not just Okeechobee. We have our own problems with our own watershed and of course water management has been our enemy on that. Uh, we had a super bloom of blue green algae two summers ago. Uh, last year somehow brown algae got introduced into the lagoon. The sunlight was seriously occluded um, given that there had been a, a full summer of stress the year before. Uh, you know now we're up to somewhere around 55 square miles of missing seagrass meadows. That's a, that's a rainforest. Uh, in all the world, uh, some of the, 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 like the top three most diverse ecosystems are a tropical rainforest, a tropical reef, and a tropical seagrass meadow. Um, we've lost habitat for about a billion and a half fish. Uh, of course, the ramifications of all of that is that there's no seagrass for the manatees to eat. They're eating red rolling algae. Uh, we've lost 111 of them now since last July. The majority of them um, in the last couple, two months or three months. Uh, we're losing a dolphin a day here. It's, it's, it's tragic. Uh, nearly every firstborn dolphin dies. It takes the female seven or eight years to reach maturity. And in those seven or eight years, she accumulates toxins and she dumps them all into her firstborn and they die. Um, females live longer than the males by about five years because they dump the toxins into their babies. Um, lagoon dolphins live 10 years less than Atlantic dolphins, just a half a mile away on the other side of the barrier island. Uh, they, have, uh, they have high nicotine levels from cigarette butts being thrown into the waterways that end up in our lagoon. Um, they're all showing um, exposure to uh, hormones and to antibiotics. They're, they're developing resistances to such. And they're, they're sick. And I believe wildlife and nature has rights. Uh, we're, we're not the only one that has rights. Water has rights. The, 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 the fish, the birds, the, the animals, I think they have rights too. And it is not our right to just arbitrarily kill them for no other reason than profit. There just isn't. Take ownership. It's your lagoon. It's not just mine or theirs it doesn't belong to the polluters it belongs to the citizens i have complete confidence that the lagoon will restore itself given the opportunity there, there's no real reason that the lagoon shouldn't be healthier than it's ever been except that we just are determined to put dirty water in it's political the whole thing is political and the only solution left uh, we've, we've tried everything we can think of we've sued we've cajoled we've begged uh, we've written newspaper articles and letters to, to our, our legislators and, and sat down and talked to them and everything else and we just get blown off. Nothing's being changed. It's up to us to make the change. And the only way that is going to happen is for the citizens to be aware that there is a problem and there is a cause to this problem. It's not a natural event. That It can be fixed and it can be, it can be restored.